Hello, welcome to Spotlight. I'm Fran Pellegrino. Today, I'm happy to have two guests, um, Ebony Ross, who is the Director of Development and Planning for the Alliance for Positive Change. Alongside Ebony is Jeff Simmons, Executive Vice President of Annot Gerstein, and uh, welcome, guys. So glad to Thank have you, you here Thank today. You. Thank you for having Jeff. us. Jeff, we're, um, we know each other about two, a little over two years now, and this is the first time you've been on the air with me. I'm usually a behind the scenes You're guy. You're behind the scenes. <laughs> Jeff has brought many, many talents to my show, and uh, today he's brought Ebony. But first, I just want to talk to Jeff a little bit about what he's up to and he actually is here to talk about the Alliance for Positive Change as well. But I, uh, all this time we know each other, I didn't realize <laughs> what a great resume you have. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't even mention it off camera because I said you did mention New York One, and I said, "Wow, it brought it brought back to me that just a little bit of your resume." And you mentioned New York One. I was with New York One New York on one. air as a reporter for five and a half years. Uh, I'm a Queens resident now. And after New York One, I went to work for in New York City government for city controller Bill Thompson for mm -hmm. eight years and helped out on campaigns, but also on government work. And since then, worked with a business improvement district in lower Manhattan called the Downtown Alliance. Jeez. And then, uh, for the last five, a little over five years, with Anat Gerstein, uh, who, who represents nonprofits. We do all their PR and communications. And that's how I connected with the Alliance for Positive Change. Uh, we now have about 20 clients, including several in Queens, such as Flushing Town Hall. Oh, I know. We've had m we have many guests on from Flushing Town Hall, thanks to Jeff. And um, it's, been, it's been a wonderful relationship with you, and uh, I'm happy to have you as a guest today. And you're going to be telling us some uh, program that you had done for the Alliance for Positive Change. But first, we're going to speak to Ebony and ask her a little background on herself and uh, how long she's been with the Alliance for Positive Change. Um, I have been with the Alliance for Positive Change for almost over uh, approximately 10 years. Um, oh, I 10 years? Yeah, over 10 years. I started out as a volunteer and now I presently work as the Director of Development and Planning um, and I love it. <laughs> I love the Alliance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there, there, this not, I don't think anything is as, as rewarding as seeing people happy and helping to find some joy for them. You Absolutely. Know? I mean, so th that's got to be great and rewarding. I can understand why you get involved with these things. And, and it's great that your agency, well, it is called an agency, right? Yes. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. is so involved in these kinds of things. Well, the Alliance is the, uh, the perfect type of nonprofit we like to yeah. work with. It had recently gone through a name change uh, before it had been known at AIDS Service Center in New York City. Mm -hmm. And it started back in 1990. Uh, amid oh, the HIV AIDS crisis when yeah. the epidemic had been much worse. Mm -hmm. And Early only in the last yeah. few years did they start to undergo a name change and a mission, mission change. Yes. And that's how we became involved with them to help let the public know the about the change to the Alliance for Positive Change and how it's serving more New Yorkers in different ways. Do you think that name change had something to do with taking the AIDS thing and, and, and turning it to positive that you, you can uh, mm -hmm go forward and, and survive, but uh, it's a tough road still. Yes, it is yeah. still a tough road. And, and, and as I saw in some mm -hmm. of the notes, it's still more prevalent than I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People know? are definitely living longer yeah. um, with the new medicines. Um, we now have PEP and PrEP and, you know, with information and education, people are doing much better, um, but it's still an issue. 
and the Alliance for Positive Change is there on the battlefield every day trying to help our clients can, can, to can feel better, live better, and do better. Wow. And, and so someone comes to the center or and they just register <coughs> and ha how, like what's the process? Yes, um, the Alliance presently has six sites. Um, we have a central intake department. So we meet people where they're at. Um, we ask them, you know, their personal information, their name, their address, and then we take them through a series of steps. Um, we try to find out if they need case management. We try to find out if they need access to pharmacy, um, if they have a permanent residence. If not, um, at the Alliance, we have a housing facility. Yes, oh, we have a housing many, facility. How many people does that hold? Um, it's growing by the day. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's growing by the day. No numbers. Oh, wow. Yeah, less than 100 people right now, but we look forward oh, to expansion. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. It's wonderful. And it's, it's a citywide organization, yes. so there are a number of... So it uh, isn't just... Uh, not, their sites are in uh, Manhattan and it? the Bronx. Manhattan and the Bronx. Mm -hmm. But clients, program participants come from across the city, including about 6% from Queens. Oh, sure. How can you say you're in the Bronx, don't come, or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wherever. What did you say they were? In, 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 uh, um, the housing facility is in the Bronx. Uh -huh. The Bronx. Oh, mm -hmm. Bronx. But uh, you can't deny somebody from Staten Island. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's what we I meant to say. cover all yeah, yeah. boroughs. All boroughs. Mm -hmm. So, so they, they get started there, and then many a time, like you, you just said, mm -hmm. you have a so they must be homeless as well. Yeah, we have some clients. Then that you have you have uh, maybe alcoholic uh, problem. Oh, Absolutely, geez, such a big we help people that um, have substance abuse issues. Um, we have a needle exchange program um, at LES HRC, and then we also have an Oasis program. So we help people to um, either maintain you know, where they are, or mm -hmm. totally abstinence from substance issues. Mm. And uh, LESHRC is the uh, Lower East Side Harm Reduction mm -hmm. Center, which just... The Lower East Side... Lower East Side Harm Reduction yes. Center, which uh, just came under about a little over a year ago <laughs> under the Alliance's umbrella of, uh, of facilities. It is... Uh, so it it's is growing all the time. Yeah. Well, yes. Uh, 27 years. Yes. You, I, I read that as well in the... Uh, 27 years. We've come a long way. Um, our amazing CEO, Sharon Duke, um, she is the only um, CEO of the Alliance for Positive Change, but she, she tells stories all the time how she used to give supervision in a staircase, and now we've grown to six sites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that's great. Yeah. <laughs> supervision in a staircase. <laughs> Wherever you have to yes. teach or help. That's right. Oh, my goodness. That <laughs> is great. It's wonderful. And um, when, like you said, you did say, um, did you say psychiatric help? or You, you mentioned mental different help, help mm -hmm. from yes. professionals. Um, mental health. Now, do they all, they volunteer? You can't, you can't start paying? Oh, do they? Yeah. Some of our clients do volunteer. Um, mm -hmm. And the beauty of the Alliance is that we have an amazing peer program where people can come in um, as clients, join our peer training program, get trained with the skills that they need, and then they go out into the community and help other people. So wow. it's wonderful. And that speaks to the broader Pay it impact. forward. Yeah, the broader <laughs> impact how, if I'm correct, it's over 15, 16,000 people a year are reached through all the programs and services? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and um, last year, 2006, we served a Approximately 6,127 clients. L last year, 2000 yeah, 2016, 6,127. Oh, we're, okay. yeah. we're, in, we're in 2017 now. The show will be seen in, in uh, 2018. So mm -hmm. 2016 threw me for a second. Time goes by very fast. It yes. certainly does. Those years just fly. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's for darn sure. Mm -hmm. So um, anything else that I've missed? Because... You know, I have some other questions here for you, but I put um, my glasses. You know, I just, there are many nonprofit organizations. Um, you know, I personally, I went to school for nonprofit management. I have a master's in nonprofit. Oh, so I've, I've studied uh -huh. nonprofits, um, but I can honestly say, and I'm objectively saying this as best as I can, the Alliance for Positive Change truly is an amazing entity. 
We really meet people where they're at. Um, everybody feels special at the Alliance, no mm -hmm. matter what walk of life you mm -hmm. come from. When you walk through the halls of the Alliance, you feel like you're somebody. And that's why I feel like the work that we do is so, so, so important. And I just hope people come and visit us and learn more about us because we're really changing lives. That's what's so important. Do, do you feel the, um, the clients are um, out there really, they're, 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 they're learning from, say, uh, I, I can't even, uh, not attorneys, but uh, people who, who teach them all different, that they could use in, in real life. Say. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, from the care managers, the care coordinators, the social workers, to our amazing peer trainers, they are learning to be they may become what what they're learning that's, that's right. what i'm saying it's almost like a teaching that's a, right. a teaching it thing is. to eventually have a job doing something like absolutely. that oh, i'm squeaking absolutely <laughs> and that's why the peer training institute is just so important because you know it's, it's almost you know you hear the thing about you know if you give me a fish sandwich versus giving me a fish rod mm -hmm. fishing rod and mm -hmm. showing me how to fish there's a difference so at the alliance we actually give people bait and a fishing rod, and we teach them how to fish, and they catch those fish every day. Every day they catch well, those fish yeah, to help that's other people. The, that's that thing where you say, yeah. don't give a man, <laughs> like, same yeah. thing, fish, <laughs> teach him how to fish. So it says go hungry every day. Exactly. But I, I was a little uh, out of sync with how I was asking you the question. I just, <laughs> but uh, I know you said you, you have psychiatrists on there and mm -hmm. everything, right? Yeah. So somebody, get an idea maybe that's what they will you know start to do absolutely, absolutely. and um, speaking of uh, feeling good about yourself and you did a project for the Alliance that was uh, qu quite a good thing so the, for the holiday the sure. Alliance has a lot of supporters and one of the initiatives uh, we've been working on with the development team uh, mm -hmm. is uh, positive homes for the holidays it started early uh, before Thanksgiving and is going through uh, mid-January mm -hmm. of this year. And it is to raise about $5,000 to create what we're calling home improvement kits. Yes. So we can help, uh, the Alliance, we can help find people housing, but it's a matter of giving them the tools, the basic tools they need to thrive in that housing. So you get a structure, you can, we can help with the placement, but then provide through these home improvement kits things like linens, kitchen utensils. Which, utensils. You go out and buy all that stuff, it costs <laughs> a each lot. Each person, it'll be a little different. Each kit yeah. is valued at about $100, and fortunately, uh, the Alliance has been able to raise through this campaign, has been able to raise over $2,100 by mid-December. The hope is to raise 5000 and fortunately, one of the board members, Alan Zwickler, and his wife had a volunteer to match the first $2,500. So Great. it looks like it'll be a successful campaign, Great. and we're urging all New Yorkers to contribute. It, uh, you have to go to www.alliance.nyc, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to find a way to contribute. Tell them again. <laughs> www You'll get all the details you need for the Positive Homes for the Holidays campaign, which goes through mid-January. So this will be just for the holidays each year? There are a, number, there are a uh, number of different initiatives that we're going to unveil in the next few months mm -hmm. uh, based on some of the priority programs of the Alliance. Uh, things around HIV AIDS <laughs> testing, mm -hmm. around substance use and how to prevent, uh, how to prevent overdoses. Mm -hmm. These are things strategically we'll be rolling out in 2017, uh, 2018, um, so, excuse so me. So you, you do encounter a lot of um, the, the drug uh, culture as well. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a double whammy. Well, when you're so sad with, with a sickness like that, so you, you have other escapes, I guess. There's, there's so that's a, a part of it as well. Drug counselors yeah. even? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow, it's such a big... I mean, the, 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 for us um, at the Alliance, it's like a non-judgment zone. We know that people... Oh, what do I mean as far as judgments, really? I, I mean, yeah. I'm not judging, no, no, I'm just no. saying. Exactly. It's, it's a shame, like, the, the problems yeah, that come up people, because of one... People deal with trauma. Um, we also deal with um, people who were recently released from prison. Um, so we have a reentry program where we try to get people to put, to get themselves back on track. Um, but we always tell people no matter what lifestyle you're coming from, 
we feel like we have the tools to help you to get back on track. Oh my gosh, it's such a big un uh, undertaking, uh, Ebony. It is. <laughs> it's an interconnectedness that it's not just HIV AIDS. There's other chronic health mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. substance use issues. And, and much of what the Alliance does is to help people <laughs> escape homelessness, get a job, yes. uh, to find a community. And that's something that Ebony was speaking about. Just the tone that you see in the hallways of the facilities, there's this sense of community and love mm -hmm. among a number of the program participants. You know, um, you did bring a little video so why don't we take a look at it and then we'll come back to chatting. Okay. Okay, we can see the video in a couple of minutes. <laughs> or maybe a minute. Here we go. I noticed the graduation uh, yes. gowns. Yes, the, the peer program that I mentioned earlier. Um, after the peers go through the, I believe it's eight week intensive training program, oh, then they, they have get a graduation. A graduation. And for <laughs> some of these individuals, this is their first graduation. Oh, sure. So yeah. it's, it's just amazing. The energy in the room is just awesome. <laughs> So, Ebony, you, it, it seems to me that someone could even come to you if they just have a drug addiction and not necessarily HIV or AIDS. Oh, yes, absolutely. So, you, you cover the... Spe In mm -hmm. other words, the Alliance for Positive Change is for everybody. <laughs> Honestly, I really look at it as a one-stop shop. I mean, we have a little bit of everything for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, yeah. it's, uh, certainly. Because <laughs> it is difficult. Someone comes to your door, even if you say, well, we only help AIDS patients. Mm -hmm. Someone comes knocking at your door and they have a terrible problem or homelessness. And mm -hmm. So yeah. it m must be quite a busy place over there. Oh, yes. Very busy. Wow. <laughs> and uh, Jeff, do you, do you get there often yourself? Or? I'm there once a week. Oh, you are we there We have our once weekly a meetings, week? but as oh. Ebony and her colleagues know, we're often in touch. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, a, as you know, Fran, being a former reporter, I'm always looking for ways to promote the alliance. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and there's new and there's so many <coughs> dynamic programs and services that there's a lot of opportunity to help raise awareness. Well, my gosh, I mean, you, you, you've undertaken so much, and um, you, you joining up with them certainly, uh, uh, you know, helps because you have great experience <laughs> in promoting and uh, in journalism and everything. As a matter of fact, you know what I was thinking when you were talking, when I, when I read all the accomplishments, I said, he seems too young to have done all this stuff. <laughs> no, because the... the um, it's the makeup, Fran. The, it's that fancy <laughs> makeup. Get it for me. <laughs> no, uh, you, on Thompson's, um, that was, what, 2005, you said you ran his campaign or something? Uh, oh, no, I, I did his PR and communications yeah, on yeah, there, yeah. but... Um, he was elected in 2001. Remember, the primary was, I think it was the same day of September 11th. And so he then uh, took office early 2002, and I moved from New York 1 over there and was there for eight years. Well, that's why I saw all those years. <laughs> I said, hmm. <laughs> 
You did uh, But before that, I mean, things. you know, New York One also introduced me to a number mm -hmm. of nonprofits, to a number of elected officials. I mean, before that, I was with the New York Post and the New York Daily News. Mm -hmm. So nice I was places. always involved in city life. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's interesting that when I worked for a TV station, I get, got to drive all around New York City and see a lot of neighborhoods that I normally wouldn't get to. I get to, got to see, you know, the wealthier and the non-wealthy uh, Oh, when areas. you When you were with New York One, did you, did you go out and do interviews, so to speak, in the street? Mm -hmm. Because you, you did the 9-11. I, uh, I started as the education reporter covering New York City schools, public and private. And from there, I filled in on the morning shift. And on the morning shift, you just drive wherever the fire or other emergency mm -hmm. is uh, during, you know, during the day. And by the time September 11th happened, I was their investigative reporter. And, and I know in some instances, the people who, who do that drive around, they, they set up their own camera and everything. It was one of Did my you pleasures. That? I actually <laughs> liked it. You liked I it all because you do both sides of it. I liked being yeah. behind the camera and being in front of the camera. It was a new skill for me. That's one of the things I love about this job is every nonprofit I work with is a new story, is a new experience, and I feel like a reporter not, just right. learning more about them. It's not boring. And telling Same their stories. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. I mean, that's what's really good you, about the Alliance is each program participant that I talk with has an amazing <laughs> story. Uh, you know, one woman uh, who uh, benefited from the Alliance's, uh, I'll call it the Positive Homes campaign, but it was before we announced it. Right. Because they've always helped people on a case-by-case -case basis, but mm -hmm. we defined it this way now. Uh, when I spoke with her about the Alliance, she came to the Alliance uh, shortly after serving some time in prison and was referred to the Alliance to help her find housing. And she told me her entire story about her life and how much it has mm. changed since she came to the Alliance. She said she feels like a real life pretty woman, thinking of the movie oh, Pretty Woman. Yeah. Now she serves, and I don't know if her title is a peer educator, but oh, she serves in a role where she's on. helping kids, others. Mm -hmm. She's, They're going on, she's right. creating this bigger ripple of change in Absolutely. communities across the city. Oh, and mean, those are amazing stories to hear about at the Alliance. Insane. Those stories of the change, yeah, you know the uh, the Cinderella stories that, <laughs> Cinderella that they, they story. come back and do you know wonderful things. Mm -hmm. Do you do you get involved? Like there's groups that um, teach p uh, future chefs. I know there's 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 a group that does that. You can get educated, you know, in, in that different um, as well there's so many things um, occupations mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. yeah we actually we do have a career fair every year um, and we have people come to the agency that want to hire our um, amazing peers and you know tell them a little bit about the different jobs that they're doing so the clients are getting educated and exposed to well the Abby, you've got a big plate full <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you yeah. And before, you, you're there 10 years, you said, and before mm -hmm. that? Um, before that, I worked for the Young Women's Leadership Foundation, oh. um, and that was another amazing nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. um, so, so nonprofit, like yeah, you said before, was your organization, thing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we have about five minutes left, and certainly I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm uh, <laughs> a little scatterbrained sometimes, but uh, anything you just want to put out there you want to say? or um, I, ju I just want to put out there, you know, we have the Homes for the Holiday, excuse me, the Positive Homes um, <laughs> initiative where we're attempting to raise um, $5,000. But I just want to also encourage people in general if they just want to mm -hmm. give even after that initiative to the Alliance, um, I encourage them to do so because we are doing amazing work and changing people's lives on a daily basis. That's so, that's so fulfilling, my <laughs> gosh. I, it, it has to be. It is. It's great. It is. That's why, listen, that's why I enjoy doing these shows. I came, well, note the name of my show, Spotlight. Oh, yes. I thought, oh, I'm going to ask friends to be on, because I, I used to sing, perform, and I said, oh, I'll just have all these people on singing and stuff. All of a sudden, it just, it's just, I don't know, I, I had on... Animal shows, you know, animal mm -hmm. shelters, and then it just all of a sudden I started doing different things. And then with Jeff, of course, he brought a lot of uh, uh, nonprofits to me, and 
I mean, I also still like Flushing Town Hall and those things, you know, the, well, the entertainment well, side, but I, I enjoy it. that feeling of, you know, doing my little something as we well. We appreciate it because, you know, a lot of nonprofits in the city are doing good work and shows like yours help to put a spotlight on them. I Absolutely. hope so. Thank I you. hope so. Yes, and I used to say, spotlight on the Alliance for Positive Change. <laughs> <laughs> www.alliance.nyc. <laughs> it's easy to remember. And uh, please go out there, do what you can for this organization. It's fantastic. Look, I, I, I just, you do mm. wonder. It's wonderful, Thank wonderful. You, you do, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we still have, you know, a few minutes left. Like I said, any <laughs> any other things you want to say, Jeff? There was something that Ebony said, which is really important to stress, and it was also highlighted in the video. It's about the effect that the Alliance has, that it helps people to feel better, live better, and do better. And that kind of has become our mantra over the last few mm -hmm. months, yeah. because it really speaks to every single uh, initiative, every s single uh, program that we focus on, because we want people to know that they, they, they've taken the first step by coming to the Alliance and their lives are going to be transformed. Exactly. And you, you asked before just about uh, the, the type of supportive services. There's a range of services from the pantry to mm -hmm. uh, the uh, opportunity to get clothing. clothing. Uh, there's a creative writing mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. where uh, they produce poetry. Yes. Uh, oh. They're featured at um, Barnes yeah. & Nobles. Oh, yeah, they really? read their poetry. Mm -hmm. They they perform there. Yes. They perform their poetry mm -hmm. at Barnes and Nobles. Mm -hmm. So go on the website, look up all <laughs> these these things, and you'll you'll find out about it. And and if you have some um, loose change around after this Christmas holidays, <laughs> after the holidays, I should say, not just Christmas, after the holidays, they need help. <laughs> well, they can get so. Um, I'm so glad to have you guys here today, thank and thank you for watching, and uh, for positive change, go to the website. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> I went.